Tori checked that I was alone before she came round. I could tell that something was wrong. I wouldn't have blamed Jonathan if he pretended he wasn't in. I haven't been much of a friend lately. You all right? I just don't know what to do. I didn't know what to do either, so I just did what I could. I listened as she told me about what had been happening. I had no idea things had gotten so bad. I started seeing Alec when I was 13. He was 15. He would moved to the UK a couple of years earlier, but seemed so much more grown up than the other boys at school. This was my first proper relationship, and it was great. We did everything together, and whilst I have to admit I even ditched my mates for Alec, I didn't care. I'd fallen completely in love with him. I thought that he loved me, but the truth is that he only cared about himself. He started doing weird stuff if I didn't do exactly what he wanted. He told me to stop speaking to other boys. He saw that Jonathan had messaged me, so punished me by taking my phone and blocking all of my male friends. After that, he started getting violent. He'd twist my arm, pinch my skin and pull my hair. He'd tell me that to be a good girlfriend, I had to do everything he wanted. That when we were with his friends, I should keep my mouth shut and try and look pretty. He took any money I had to buy cigs and banned me from speaking to my friends. One time he said I'd laughed at him in front of his friends, he went crazy, called me a whore, started slapping me, and then he raped me. After that, this was what he did to punish me if I didn't respect him. It just kept getting worse. One time when I didn't answer his call when he told me to, he raped me. And then he left me tied up in a cold room with no clothes or blankets. He burnt me with cigs and threw salt in the wounds. I escaped, but he and his friends jumped me and attacked me. They all raped me again. That's how things were for the next year. This was my first proper relationship, and I, I knew this was wrong, but I was too scared to say anything. I told her that it didn't matter that we hadn't been that close recently. I'm, I'm really sorry but for we were best friends. I know I've been involved. If anything, I felt like I'd let her down. I just don't know who has to turn to. I'd noticed bruises on Tori's arms and that she spent a lot of her time with older guys. I wish I'd tried to do something. It's fine, we haven't seen each other in a while. I wasn't sure what to say. No words somehow make everything okay. But she needed to know that it couldn't go on like this and that I was there for her. This was too much for us to try to deal with ourselves. We had to get help. Jonathan was amazing. He encouraged me to go to the police station to report Alec. I was scared and was so pleased when he went with me. The police asked me lots of questions and looked at my injuries. I still had burns on my arms and back. When they said they were going to question Alec, it was like all the blood to drain from my body. He was going to find out that I'd told them everything. I was frightened that he'd get away with it and come after me, but he admitted everything admitted controlling me, hurting me, raping me, imprisoning me, torturing me, sexually exploiting me. The police charged him and deported him back to his home country. A couple of years have passed and I feel ready to share my story. My ordeal is over. But I just want to help people who are just as vulnerable as I was. It's never your fault. And no one deserves to be sexually exploited. <laughs>